You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you a new snack pairing video here. I have a Bundaberg ginger beer. And no, it's not an alcoholic beer. It's more like a root beer. And then a Smith's salt and vinegar chip. So at first glance, would you know exactly what and why these two were paired together. Hmm, is it the color? No, a lot of times I just pick snacks by color. This one here is by Region. They're both from Australia. Let me just flip this around here. I've got a cup in the back. So let's read about Smith's, okay? Let's read about Smith's. Let's see what it says. At Smith's, we believe the simple things in life are the best, just like our crinkle cut chips. We take top quality Aussie potatoes, peel and slice them to just the right crinkle cut thickness and then cook them to perfection using healthier oils with 75% less saturated fat. Then we sprinkle them with the Smith salt and vinegar seasoning you know and love so you can enjoy the classic crunch and unbeatable flavor that only the best tasting potato chips can bring. Smith's, you know you love them. And then let's see, so where did I see something about Australia here? Help keep Australia tidy. And then made in Australia, okay? And then that's the top of the bag and the ingredients. Hold on, let me give you a little more room there. Let me move my cup in. I happen to have a Rainforest Cafe. Anybody eat at Rainforest Cafe? Now that kind of looked pretty cool. They did have a certain look to them. So let me get the chips out. All right. Here we go, the chips. Hmm, what's up my bowl here? Come on now. Ooh, I lost the whole bag. Ooh, looks like I gotta eat them now. Alright. And then... Let's see, let's bring this in here, my cup. Now this is one of those cups you can buy at the table, you know, when you're eating it. It has a light on the bottom, see that? It lights up and flashes. Not that it matters. And then... Let's see, I was reading the bottle. It says right on the bottle, invert bottle before opening. Because if you look inside here, let me get a light in here. There's all kinds of ginger in there. And you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, all of it floating around. It's like a little world of underwater ginger floating around. So I just want you to invert it so you can move all those little specks. All right, so let's look at the back here. Um, ooh, there's some, there's some words. I didn't notice that right away. It says, it's always cloudy in a bottle of good old fashioned ginger beer. Ooh, hold a bottle to the light and you'll see it's full of real ginger pieces. Traditionally brewed to a genuine old recipe to release the natural flavors of ginger. Now that, that is very tiny writing, so that's why I was taking my time there. So let's see, the special instructions on the top. It says pull, pull out, okay, and then up. Ooh, it worked, but I lost some. Let me get this in here, and let's take a look as it pours through my glass. Here we go. I like the sound. Glug, 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 glug. Ooh, nice to the top. Let's sniff some bubbles. Mmm. I'm a fan of ginger. It's a nice, lightly sweet, but you get a good ginger flavor. Now let's take a look at a chip. Here is a chip. Ooh. Mmm. It's salt and vinegar. Now, I'm a salt and vinegar fan. I'll eat that. I like dill pickle chips. I like pretty much any potato chip. And these are pretty good. It's a really nice, strong flavor to them. Mmm. Let me take another sip of this Bundaberg. 
I'm going to say it's got a nice creaminess to it. It's a really good soda. Now you don't see all the little pieces floating around here, but we saw them originally. Wow, those are really good chips. It's got an interesting bite to it. It's crispy, but it gives away just a little. It's really interesting. It's not like a chip. Hmm, let me try one more. It's crispy, crispy, but it's got a softness to it. Hard to explain, but very good and very good flavor. And I think paired with this is a good combination. So, where does that lead me? Well, anybody out there from Australia, and is this a combination you've had before? Is this one of your favorite beverages? I love the bottle. I think it's a cool bottle. It's like a brownish amber look to it. Do you keep those bottles? Are there people that collect older bottles in Australia, like here in the U.S.? Do you collect them like that? And then, hey, Rainforest Cafe fans, let's hear from you there. I think uh, I'd like to hear about uh, your Rainforest Cafe experience. Do you like the fish and all the cool things in Rainforest Cafe? I guess I'm just looking for people to talk in the comments so we can hang out. Again, we have the Smith's Salt and Vinegar and the Bundaberg a Ginger Beer. Both excellent. And all of our Australian fans out there, we need to hear from you in the comments because I have probably 10 or 15 different kinds of Australian candy that will be coming up in video very soon. And thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.